But the debate between unions and management over the details of a proposed five-day work week system rages on. And now labor groups are pushing for drafts of the law to go further and institute two full holidays every week or else guarantee overtime pay and benefits for those who end up working weekends. Amid growing conflict between management and workers over the new holiday system, Labor Minister Guo Fangyu explained the reasons behind his plan to institute seven national holidays for workers if the new legislation wasn't passed in time. The decision to give back these seven holidays to workers was taken by the legislature, and it was part of an initial promise over measures to be taken in support of the law. If we rush to amend the relevant clauses in the Labor Standards Act and successfully implement a five-day work week along with a uniform system of designated holidays for all workers, then this issue would be resolved. The Labor Ministry plans to work towards a five-day work week model currently used for public sector employees, but labor groups weren't so thrilled with its proposal for a system which calls for strict enforcement of one day of weekly holiday, while the second day is left up to companies' discretion. Designating national holidays is a way of saying to workers that if you come in on that day, you'll earn double wages. If you cancel those seven national holidays, they'll think you'll have cut seven days worth of double wages. It means that four to five million workers in manufacturing would lose a total of 100 billion NT dollars per year. Asked when the Labor Ministry planned to bring forth its draft legislation on the five-day workweek system, well only said there was no timetable for passing the law.